In this video, we're going to go ahead and look at the travel guide and look at the top 10 section. The top 10 section can really be anything that you want. Top 10 can be best places to take your most Instagram worthy photos, or maybe it's top 10 food trucks. Maybe it's top 10 bars that you can't miss. Maybe it's top 10 thrift stores. Totally up to you as to how you're going to approach this and what makes sense for your publication. If your publication is for stay at home moms to find the best places to check out in St. Louis and clearly you're going to look at um, places that are very kid friendly. Maybe you want places where you can do free things. You know, what makes sense for your audience? What would be really cool? What do you, what would you want to read if you were working um, and looking at those types of pages? So really for those pages, it's a lot of people can do it in two pages. I've seen a few done in one page, but it's generally an easier story to tell in two. So maybe I really like this one that's got kind of the honeycombs, but I kind of have, you know, these circles going out around throughout my publications. So maybe I want to make these into some type of circles. If you are going to do a two page spread, things you have to watch for what to do with this gutter, because a lot of times this gutter ends up being this, you know, two different pages and you're going to have items that jump from one page to another. So this student you know, approached it by putting one big thing here and nine small things here. Here, they worked around it by doing a variety of different sizes. Remember, this is not a yearbook. It doesn't have to have exactly the same size images for everything. What makes sense for your publication? So let's see what's required for this section. You need to have heads and subheads. So top 10 food trucks, uh, ways to uh, best uh, pub crawl, whatever makes sense. It has to have at least 10 items. I'm looking for those text boxes to be linked from one to another, that your text frame options are used to make columns whenever possible. This is one of those wonky pages that it is really easy just to start making more and more text boxes, but it makes it much harder. So you can try and create fewer. You know, just because this page itself has got three different styles of type doesn't mean you have to have three different boxes. The more boxes you add, the more you're going to have to deal with alignment, the more you have to deal with different um, boxes ending up different sizes. So really try and pay attention to consistency and using the same things throughout. Uh, photo credits on this one can be a little bit weird. Maybe you want to make sure that you do your photo credits inside the photos. Whatever you're doing for your publication, make it consistent. Uh, if you are doing a two-page spread, running your your photos or credits through the gutter doesn't always work as well. Um, watch when you're at the bottom. You don't want to crowd your publication and your footer information too much. So really pay attention to what's going on there. Uh, we have to have uh, paragraph and character styles for this one. You have to have at least five graphic elements per page. So this one definitely has far more going on, but you've got more of a story to tell. Not every single item has to have a picture. It's up to you as to what is going to make sense and how do you want to tell that story. So this is a really easy one to Google and find some really strong inspiration pieces for. Um, you will have a much better luck if you have a good idea, a good sketch going into this than you will if you just start trying to throw things on the page. Um, I like how this one really does a good job. The logo was a paw print, so they kind of worked that paw print into the background. How much text is required? Do you need a lot of text? Do you need just a little text? How do you want to deal with numbers? Uh, if you are going to include numbers, you know, is this a one being the best, 10 being the worst type of thing? Are they um, based on places on a map? You know, I've seen some of these done really well where they've brought, taught it, tied it into a map as well. So what makes sense for your publication? Uh, it is a, it can be a really fun page. It's one of your real true content pages. It's worth, you know, more points than some of your other ones have been. And I think it's one you can have a lot of fun with. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with for your top 10.